Hello everyone, I'm Tomek, and today we are going to build an infrared remote. As you can see, I have two Arduinos, and with a TSOP32, which is an infrared receiver, and three LEDs. And on the left side, we have an Arduino, three buttons, and an infrared uh, LED. So what I'm going to try to do with you today, when I press a button, this infrared LED will send an infrared signal to this, um, to this receiver, the TSOP32, which is going to um, uh, light an LED whenever I press a button. So first button, first LED, second button, second LED, third button, third LED. For that, you are going to use a code. Uh, so it can identify uh, that uh, this button belongs to this button. So we are going to send a signal, decode it, and according to the results of that decode, we are we know which LED we are going to uh, to light. Uh, let me show you something. So, so basic of the infrared uh, transmission is the um, is the R pulses. So the the circuit will actually uh, blink the infrared LED at a certain frequency or uh, using the PWM signal which the TSOP32 uh, receiver can actually read so the, uh, we cannot see the infrared uh, light with our eyes we can just can see it <laughs> but the camera can so if I, uh, I have here I have a remote as you can see when I press a button let see I'm pressing I'm pressing when I press the button, it actually lights up. It's not actually only lighting up, it's doing pulses, like this, pulses. So, uh, let me bring my screen, I can show the, my test code. We are going to go through it one by one. So, uh, in order for me to be able to test my circuit, with other uh, transmitters, I read the signal from this, uh, the signal that which this LED is sending from this remote, my TV remote, and I read the code which I wrote in this. You can see here, uh, these are the codes, so this is for the first one, second one, third one, until from 0 to 9. So the 10 is actually number 0. 0, it's 0, not 10. So when, I, when we press 1, the LED is blinking and sending that piece of um, code, which is, I think, it's hexadecimal, uh, through the LED, which the TSOP can actually read the code and to know which LED to light. And go over here. So here we have the Arduino. We have the TSOP32 uh, connected to it. This is the data pin and 5 volt and GND. It only uses 3 pins. So we're actually going to um, press the button, read the code from there and see it on our uh, serial, uh, serial monitor of the Arduino IDE. Uh, actually, I burned, uh, I think, 3 of these until I found the uh, pin order as they are, I think they are made in China, they are not T sub 32, um, 32, this is one, is 22 I think, which I couldn't find the data sheet, a data sheet for. So be careful, so let me upload the, uh, the sketch, it's uploading now, upload complete, let's open the serial monitor, let's press a button. Doesn't show you. So you can see when I press, this is number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six. So if I keep pressing, it keeps sending that uh, that signal. So one press, one press, one press, one code. Long press, it's gonna keep receiving the code until I stop. There's another thing, demo. So it can actually tell what uh, it can actually tell. This is receiver dump number version two. It can uh, it can tell what kind of remote it's decoding. 
So as you can see here, these are number of manufacturers. So we should uh, know that this is a, a Samsung um, remote. Uh, let's see. Open the remote. So when you press one, oh flash. What the hell is that? I have no idea. I think this is it's called time. But this is the code we are uh, we are after, and it's in the 32 bits version, and it's encoding encoded with uh, which it knows it's Samsung remote. So that's great. So now we know the signal, we, uh, the code we're sending, and we can send it from to um, from the remote and from our circuit, which is good. Let's talk about the sketch a little bit. So, all of these commands are based on the infrared library, so we have to include it at first. I, uh, I'll have everything uh, downloaded on my website, and the link will be uh, in the below, you know. And give me a like button. If you like the video, of course. <laughs> now, so the receiver pin is 11, TSOP AR receiver data pin. So these are the switches, 2, 3, 4, we have it on pin uh, 3, 4, no, it's 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, it's, it's good. Now, we defined our, um, our LEDs, pins, they are receive, that's uh, part of the library. I don't know what those um, declaration actually mean, but it's there, it needs to be there. So I think we are telling it that we are actually going uh, we are in the receiving area not the sending uh, part of the code first if you are receiving ar signal we decode it with this uh, with this um, function we are received dot decode and put them in results then we resume receiving ar signal looking for ar signal so actually um, it can detect all the UR signals. So if we are using the uh, the three buttons, one, two, three, if we press four, it will know that there is an, an infrared signal, but it will not um, light any LED, which is good. That's why we use codes to identify each button that has a code. So if the results value are this one, which are the, for the number one uh, switch, high, then delay, then low, and put 0000, zero, 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 zero in the uh, results value. We how to say we we reinitialize the results that value um, variable. So and we have that copied for three for three uh, LEDs. So this is for the receiver part. Now for the uh, we are one and we are two. AR2. So this is for the uh, AR LED, which we are sending data. So the AR send uh, pin is uh, internally defined in the uh, in the uh, library, and it, it is a pin number three. So you know, as it took me a long time to figure that out. <laughs> so it's on pin number which one? Which one? It's on pin number three. And our buttons are on four, five, six, three, four, five, six. We have now three switches, and we I did them in input pull up. So I am using the internal resistors of the uh, of the Arduino, uh, so I can uh, skip putting resistors for every uh, for every switch, for every push button. So now uh, our loop. If we are, if the uh, switch is low, which means it's pressed, send uh, 00E, 0E, 20DF, which is a 32 bit enc uh, encoded in 32 bits. So, and for the same for the three other switches. So let me upload the code. So now, if I press number one, an LED should light up. Yes, it lights up. If I press number two, it's lighting up. If I press number three, it's lighting up. Now, let's say I want to press number four. It won't light up. Five, six, seven, eight, zero. 
power of volume. So it knows and it's decoding good the signal. Now let's see if this circuit will actually work. We upload for the for the other Arduino. We hook it back to power. We can test it. Now everything's powered up, so let's see. It's still working. So number one, number two, number three. Actually this is number one and this is number two and this is number three. So you see if we press two buttons linking energy, not playing really. So anyway, so it works. One, two, three, two, two, two. Uh, I don't have enough wires. What's happened to it? Da, 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 da. So if I keep, uh, you you can see it's it's blinking, and it's not it doesn't stay uh, uh, high because we added the delay and then the low. So it keeps using it keeps the keeps blinking because of the delay and but if we it will stay high and we need to reset it anyway so the concept actually works and uh, now you know how to read data from um, uh, any uh, remote that uses infrared and how to make uh, a simple infrared emitter and receiver so now two Arduinos can actually talk to each other and send data to each other which is a good thing. Maybe we can make another project with this. Maybe an, uh, uh, a robot, which is an infrared uh, uh, control. We'll see about that. Anyway, uh, I think this video is finished. I hope I explained some things and I'm help helping you with your project. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if I helped you with painting and uh, subscribe if you're not a subscriber and uh, if you are looking for more information you can find it on my website uh, I'll give all these sketches and uh, and the uh, you know the circuit the circuit you'll find the circuit picture and everything well see you next time bye bye